In this video, I'm going to be showcasing all of the useful shortcuts for Java Edition. A lot of research and effort went into this video, so if you enjoy it or you found something new, consider liking, subscribing, and leaving a comment. It all helps out a lot. I'm going to continue to update my description that will give you all of the relevant commands, even if they're not shown in this video. So to start us off, let's get rid of the easy ones. Pressing F1 on your keyboard will hide your UI. Pressing F2 will take a screenshot and pressing F3 will show your coordinates. Not only does it show your current position, it shows you a lot of details about your game. It shows your graphics card, your current location, how many entities are in the world, and what block you're even looking at at this current moment. There's also a hidden graph within this F3 mode. You can do F3 plus Shift, and it gives you a cool little graph that shows you more information. If you want to switch game mode, you don't have to type the command anymore. Using F3 and F4 at the same time will prompt this little menu, and from there you can switch to any game mode. I'm so grateful Mojang added this feature. If your rendering has messed up and chunks are buggy, you can hit F3 and A at the same time and it will refresh all your chunks. You can also use F3 and B to show hitboxes, and you can also crash your game with F3 and C. If you want to try out this manual crash, you need to hold F3 plus C for at least 10 seconds. But on second thought, maybe I don't want to crash my game. So now we have this spam in chat, I want to get rid of it. You can use F3 and B at the same time to clear it, and as you can see, my chat's now clear. So this one's a little wordy, but to sew it up, you can basically have multiple toolbars under different hotkeys, and this is really good when you're in creative mode. All you need to do is once you have your toolbar set out, is you press C and whatever number from 1 to 9 to save it, and then to go back to it you press X and that same number. So in theory you can have 9 different toolbar setups and just go back to them with X 1 to 9. If you want to change your render distance, you don't actually have to go to settings. If you press F3 and F at the same time, it increases your distance. And if you want to decrease it, it's F3, Shift, and then F. Remembering these little shortcuts can save you a lot of time. If you want to see where chunks end and start, you don't have to guess. If you use F3 and G at the same time, it will show you where the chunks start. Hitting F3 and then H will give you more information about items in your inventory. When hovering over an item, it will give you now more information. If you want to go into creative or spectator mode, you don't actually have to type game mode slash creative. You can actually just hit F3 plus N and it will toggle. Hitting F3 and then Alt will give you this cool little FPS graph. If you want to tab out the game, but you don't want the menu to pop up, you can hit F3 and P, and then hit Alt Tab. And if you want to see all F3 combinations in game, hitting F3 and Q is a great way to do that. If you're using a resource pack and it bugged, you can use F3 and T. This will refresh all models, sounds, and anything changed by a resource pack. And then of course we have the classic F5, which will change your perspective. F11 will put you in full screen, and hitting numbers 1 to 9 will change your toolbar. Pressing F will switch out the item in your offhand. Hitting Q will drop the item you're holding, but if you want to drop the whole stack, you can use Ctrl Q. You can press T to open chat, and L to open achievements. If you want to type a command in chat, you don't have to press T and then manually type in a slash yourself. You can just hit slash, and then it will do it for you. And then of course you can use tab to autocomplete when the game knows what command you're typing. Holding left shift will put you in sneak mode, which means if you go up to a block, you won't fall off. In single player, you can use F3 escape to pause the game. This one's for any map makers or developers out there. Hitting F3 and I will copy the entity's metadata, and then you can paste it anywhere. And that's it. Those are the useful commands all working in 1.16.
If you learned something new or you enjoyed the video, consider subscribing and leaving a like and comment. They help out a lot as I am still new to YouTube. As you can see on screen, I have two other videos you can check out and you might enjoy.